Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and as promised, I am doing a video about spiritual death. Now, this has a lot of different meanings to different people. The way I'm going to use it is in the respect that there was a part of me, the way I was living, that died and went away. I'm going to explain the whole story here. And there was a new kind of vibrancy that came out of that. So transformation, maybe spiritual transformation, if you want to see it that way. Now, the way some people have or see a spiritual death is where they become an atheist. If you Google this, you'll see it all over the place. It's like this is where somebody gives up on their religion and they don't believe anything anymore. And so their spirit dies. The spirit can't actually die. Okay. It's just like, so to speak, the way I experience and the way I define a spiritual death is uh, back in 2012. It was December 21st, 2012 at 12, 12 a.m. I can't exactly tell you what the dream was about. It's weird because now there's like a block around it where there wasn't before. I mean, I probably could have told you in great detail what that dream was all about. And now I vaguely remember being in a car and falling off, the, off of a mountain and actually feeling the sensation of falling. And here's what's weird. I felt the impact and I felt kicked out of my body. Now, doctors, scientists, whoever's weighing in on this, right, <laughs> would say that's impossible. You always wake up before you die in a dream. And I would say, try me again because it happened to me and I am not a crazy person, all right? This happened. So I actually felt my, my soul, I guess, my spirit, whatever, leave my body. And then I woke up and I looked over and it was 12, 12 a.m. When I woke up, I jolted out of my sleep and I looked over, I saw the time and I thought that was kind of weird. And it felt like I was feeling my body around me for the very first time. Now I know where a lot of your minds are going. If you are well-versed on this topic, you're gonna be like, oh, Michelle, you're a walk-in, uh, uh, uh. Something happened there. So a walk-in situation is where someone does have a death of sorts and there's an agreement. It's not like another soul's coming in and snatching up the body, right? <laughs> there's an agreement that one soul is going to vacate and another one's gonna come in. But my understanding of that is there's typically, it's, it's what we call a near-death experience, right? That's where one soul is shifting out and potentially it doesn't happen with everybody with the near-death experience, but if there's some bit of a soul agreement, another one can walk in and continue living as that person. I know, wild, right? <laughs> I don't think that that's what happened here. It was uh, an ending. It was an ending in the way it always struggled. It was an end of a path. It was the end, however you want to see that. There was an ending and what was just strange was like I was being, when I woke up, it was like I was being refreshed. I, I, the body felt new to me. I know, again, you guys are going to go back to the walk-in thing, but hang with me here. The blankets around me, I almost couldn't fathom what they were, right? Like, what, what, this feels so nice and cozy. You ever wake up and you're just in that sweet spot in your bed, like the, it's just the perfect temperature, the covers, just enough covers on you. I was kind of like that and I was just, appreciating it so much but there was always a split second of what is this I don't understand this wow this is really nice wow this feels really good <laughs> to be sleeping in this bed I went on with my day I took a shower and I could not believe how good the hot water felt <laughs> right? it was like it was like I had never taken a shower before I've taken a shower before, excuse me. But, uh, you know, it was like I've never felt hot water before. I remember there was a, this is kind of embarrassing and funny, I suppose, but there was a spinach leaf. I had a salad that day. <laughs> I picked out a piece of spinach and I just sat there examining it and just looking at how it was constructed and really looking at the detail of it and going, this is amazing. This spinach is amazing. <laughs> and tasting it and, and feeling like it was like, interesting how I had to, it, chewing, how could I forget? Chewing was interesting to me. Like, this is kind of weird. I grind these two plates on top of one another and it does something to the food and then I have to make a motion to swallow it. Weird. <laughs> and my face looked funny to me as well. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, like, 
oh, wow, that's just the construction of the face, of the human face. When I would look at anybody else, I, I would almost find myself staring in a weird and awkward way. Let's say it once more. Many of you are going to say, Michelle, you are totally a walk-in girl. You are totally, something else came in there. Living is you. <laughs> no, because I, I, I can't explain it in any other way except I know I'm me. I know I'm still here, right? I have all the memories. I still have connections to the emotions from things that happened a while ago. Yes, that can be imprinted in a physical body. And yes, that could be picked up by another soul that walks in. But for me, I, I think it's still me. Pretty sure it's still me here. And uh, it was around that time that I started to take a really, I mean, I had been spiritual and I had been uh, talking to angels, but I took a really hard turn and decided to leave my corporate job and to head on to a path. But that was the energy for a lot of people around that time. So when everybody was expecting the Mayan calendar to end and that we were all gonna be like, vaporized, I guess. I don't know what people were actually expecting, but <laughs> that they were going to go into their light bodies and that they, you know, would be transported away or what have you. That <sighs> didn't happen to my physical body, but something, it was a like a real sharp pivot. Weirdly, on 1221, 2012 at 1212 12 AM. <laughs> right? So that's what I'm talking about with a spiritual death. There was a definite distinct ending and it was like being rebooted. That's what it felt like. And I hate to put it in those terms because that makes us seem like a machine. And I think we all feel like, you know, we're talking more about holographic universe and like how we might be plugged into a machine and how we're very electrical beings and all of that. But that's the best way I can put it for it to make sense. So what happens if you have a spiritual death? Some of you might say, hey, I remember having a death and yeah, I, I died in the dream. I definitely died in that dream. I kind of wonder, just, just speculating here, I kind of wonder, we're talking about timelines that kind of cycle around one another. If we're not plugging into another lifetime, right? Dimension hopping, we, that's a thing. You can definitely dimension hop. If that's not what I did, if that's not what people are doing, if it's not a walk-in situation where they're kind of dimension hopping and going into another timeline. Um, but I mean, I pretty much lived a, a very similar life, <laughs> right? So I don't know if, you know, what I'm getting at here is if in another timeline, I physically died. And that there was like a melding of those two storylines that came together. Because yes, my life did take a turn. And yes, I started living very differently. However, I'm still me. I'm still authentically me. So that is, some people call it an ego death as well. I mean, okay. I don't know about all that. Because the ego ain't going to die. It's still there. How are you going to run from a tiger if it's chasing you? Okay. <laughs> As long as you have a physical body, I think you're going to have, you're going to have some, some form of an ego, right? So, I mean, I don't know. That just seems a little dramatic to me. Just my opinion. But uh, this is definitely something that I think people should talk about more. And have you ever been changed? And have you ever been tempted to call it just a dream? It's just a dream, right? What really happened to you? How did your lives change? So, Leave your comments down below. If you have more questions, let me know. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.